453 times in the Bible is this phrase, it came to pass. Did you ever ask yourself why is something in there that many times? It's because God was given us a principle that nothing comes to stay except for his spirit. Experiences in life come and they go. Good times come and they go. Bad times come and they go. Hard times come and they go. All of us go through transitions in life, and God wants to help us with those transitions so that we can go from one experience to the next, and we can grow in Him, and we can enjoy life to the fullest. Because nothing comes to stay, it only comes to pass. Luke chapter 24, verse number 30. And it came to pass, as they sat at meat with them, that Jesus took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to them. This was a very difficult time in the life of these two men as they were walking home from Jerusalem. And as they were walking home, the Bible says Jesus joined them. This is after Jesus' crucifixion, and they weren't aware that Jesus had resurrected, and it was Jesus himself talking with them. But they were so disappointed and so disillusioned by what had happened they didn't ever expect it to go this way. And when you find yourself in a bad situation, when you find yourself when life takes a turn that you didn't expect, just remember, it too just comes to pass. There'll be a transition time. God will help you. He'll be there with you. And sometimes you don't even recognize that he's standing right there with you during the transition. And so they were talking about Jesus and what had happened uh, with his crucifixion. And Jesus asked the question, what are you talking about? And they said, where have you been? Have you been, have you been from out? Of, are you from out of town? And so they began to explain to him a little bit of what happened. And the Bible says Jesus opened their understanding from the Old Testament scriptures as they walked along and began to talk with them. But still they didn't see him because they were so disappointed by the circumstance of today. Again, I want to encourage you, do not allow what's going on today to stop you from seeing the hand of the Lord in your life. Because whatever you're going through today, it just comes to pass. And God's going to be there with you. God's not going to leave you. God's not going to forsake you. And so hold on to God's hand. And so as they turn to go home, to their um, off the main road to, to go to their house. Jesus was going to keep going and they wanted him to come and to spend the night. It was getting late and so Jesus did. And the Bible says, and it came to pass as Jesus sat at me with them, he took the bread, blessed it, break it and gave it to them. And their eyes were opened and they knew him and he vanished out of their sight. And they said one to another, did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us by the way and while he opened the scriptures to us? They said, we should have recognized it. We were so focused on how this was going to turn out and what was happening. And we were so distracted by the negatives of the day that we missed that it was Jesus with us all along. Jesus is right there with you. You feel his presence right now. And God knows where you're at. He's walking alongside. And he wants you to know that he's going to take care of you. And whatever the circumstance or situation is in life, he'll stay by you. And it too will come to pass. And he'll transition you. The Bible says from day to day, from glory to glory, God's going to be with us. and He's going to help us. And my friend, when we walk with him, when we put our hand in his hand, we don't have anything to worry about. Jesus, we thank you for allowing us to share for a few minutes, and we pray that you would just give us a different perspective about what's going on, and don't let us miss you, because sometimes we miss you. You're right in the midst. You're right there beside us, and all we see is the negative. All we see is the confusion. All we, all we focus on is, is the 
things that we don't know how to handle and the things that we're facing at the moment. God, don't let us miss you. Our hearts burn within us when you're nearby. Help us to recognize your presence. And help us to turn to you and allow you to help us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God's with you. And whatever you're going through, it's going to come to pass. And he will gracefully let you go from season to season of life. So walk with him today. Have a wonderful day.